We have a new knife to talk about today. This is going to be the Vosteed Raccoon. So I didn't know what to expect with this. It's one of their budget entries. They have ticked a lot of boxes. And uh, I think this is definitely going to be a knife that will be in contention for one of the better budget knives out there. First of all, it's in my favorite budget steel, 14C28N. It's not even close. That's a fantastic choice. The blade length is nice, coming in at three and a quarter inches. And uh, it's a micarta handle. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Really, really well done. It actually has a insert for a reversible clip. So that's kind of a nice touch with spare screws. On the other side, we have our pocket clip. It's deep carry technically, but it doesn't go all the way to the end of the knife. What I like quite a bit is that it's actually flush with the handle, the micarta handle. Now, speaking of that, Let's go ahead and flick this thing out. This is one of my favorite blade shapes that I've had a chance to play with. It's a very tall, full flat grind with a nice thin edge behind everything. Now, interesting, yeah, especially if I change at that angle, you can see nice even grind all the way across. So no issues there. How's it doing on sharpness? Let's go ahead and take a couple pages out of uh, this magazine here this little pen magazine oh yeah let's try that again very sharp nicely done so it came very, very sharp out of the box. But interestingly enough, this is a very stout blade. <laughs> look at how thick it is back here. I'm actually going to have to look it up. And if I have any information on the blade thickness, I'll put it here. But really impressed with how slicey it is. And I think that has to do with the height of the uh, blade itself. Now, what I do find interesting is this does not have the kind of bounce that I've experienced with other button locks. Like when I flick it closed, it doesn't seem to want to bounce back out. And that's a really good thing. It's one of the things I dislike about button locks. Let me just throw it in. Wow. Yeah, it, see how much it, effort it took to get it to bounce? That's great. Because I, I don't like that. I, I prefer it not to do that. Um, and this is this is very nice. I can certainly reverse flick it. And this is one of two locks that I think are particularly good for new users, right? Because you're not going to put your fingers anywhere in front of the blade when you close it. And you have the fidget factor of being able to just launch it with the button itself. So it has thumb studs, reverse flick, and just the button lock itself. I don't know what more you could want. Now, one thing I don't know because I just got this sent to me, is how much they're charging for this. I'm going to put it right here. And I think that's going to have a big impact on whether you consider it or not. This, I, I don't mean to talk down on Civivi, but they they kind of got this started, so it's not really their fault. You know, it takes time to perfect something. But this is a much more compelling package than the Cogent, I think it's called the Cogent, that I played with. Um, it has a much firmer button than that one did and uh, no bounce or very little bounce at all. I am way prefer the way this feels. And it, it also seems like the button itself, although a little sticky, you can kind of hear it. Although a little sticky is got a much stronger spring and I way prefer that for a number of reasons. One, you, there's almost no chance of accidentally pressing it all the way in and getting it to close on you. But uh, also, it just feels better in the lockup. It just does. You can see it right there. Kind of pushing in to where the uh, lock is. Now, oiling, you know, when you actually lubricate this, it's kind of interesting. You're going to have to put extra attention on this side of the blade, making sure that you actually get 
lubricant on the button itself so it'll slide smoothly and I haven't done anything to it and it's still crazy drop shut right no problem really really nice job from Vosteed and I gotta say from a shape perspective they have absolutely nailed it this might be one of my favorite handle shapes that I've come across I don't know why but it seems like everything just works whether I'm tucked back here or up front here it works and it actually works in reverse as well it's almost like I don't know I, I really got the handle shape damn near perfect and I love this texture Am I crazy, or did they use T8 screws as well? Let me look at this. T. Hold on a second. I, got, I need to check something. All right, let's go ahead and pull this out and try some T4, T9. No, I don't need that one. Oh, there it is. All right, so T6. Let me see something. Is this a T6? That's a T6. T6, that's a T8, that's a T8. Okay, so T6 is here, here and here, and T8 here and here. Okay, just something to know. I wanted to make sure, I'll double check that. Yep, T8, T8. Okay, good. It would be nice if all of these were T8, but look, I mean, you do what you can. The, there's at least a few screws here that are T8. I would very much like to have T8 in the pocket clips. That's actually not something that's quite common. If they did, that would just be bonus. Uh, and the reason for that is that T6 strip a lot easier than the T8s do. And I, I don't necessarily mean the screw itself, but also the, um, the head of these torques. They, they tend to twist much much easier now better quality bits will help but it's always beneficial to have an actual um t8 if you can get it all right so i don't know what else to say i mean this is fantastic i think it really depends heavily on the price if this comes in in my opinion if this comes in anywhere at 60 or lower it's a home run slam dunk as a as a knife it's the right length the right blade shape, the right blade steel, the lock itself is fantastic, the action is amazing, and it has no bounce, which I love. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's a fantastic offering by Vosteed. Well done. Let's just, uh, yeah, I think we'll just say if it's under that price point, it's phenomenal. Um, I'll go ahead and check right after this, but this is just my impressions based on the knife itself. I feel like if I knew, if let's say this turns out to be $40, I doubt that. But if it was, I mean, I think it would completely skew how I felt about this. Like I would be singing the praises even more than I would already be doing. So, awesome by Vosteed. This is the Raccoon. Well done.